Okay, this is our second video covering the Green New Deal or the Liberal Democrats plan to save everybody in America. And this second one is on farting cows in the Green New Deal. They put in there that they need to get rid of cows because they fart and emit greenhouse gases that uh, contribute to global warming and pollute our environment. So we need to get rid of all these farting cows. Okay, number one, um, there are less cows in this world than there are people. And I think everybody in the whole world has farted at least once, twice, three times, maybe more during a day. So, um, shouldn't we do away with the people and then the cows can live comfortably? I mean, they're not the ones emitting all the, the gases that are taking out the ozone layer and stuff like that. That's how stupid it sounds. No, we, they, they want to do away with cows. You do away with a cow, you're doing away with milk. Milk is what you need for babies so their bones will be strong as they grow up when you're a kid I don't know about kids today I don't know what they get in school but when I was growing up you had milk we had little cartons of milk and we were always told to drink milk because it would make our bones strong well you know what my, I, you know praise the Lord I, I'm, I, I think my bones are strong you know I drink milk well I'm, I probably drank the chocolate milk more than the white milk but you know I still got milk and it was whole milk at the time and so but if you think about it they say well we can we've got formula you know the the package formula that um, mothers can give to their children well you also had package shots that you gave to newborn kids that ended up with autism. So I, I wouldn't trust what man can do. Um, but if you think about it, look at all the kids today. They they have brittle bones. I mean, we have we know somebody whose child is on a college football team, and every time he gets out there to play, he gets hurt. He's breaking something left and right. And, I, and the kid is skinny and you know you're thinking why why isn't this kid drinking more milk make his bones strong because they don't give him milk anymore they I mean that just makes your kids weak so number one we need the milk in fake milk almond milk that's not milk Soy milk, that's not milk. That is flavored water. That's all that is. Even the FDA finally came out and said almond milk is not milk. They had to take the name, the word milk out of their advertisement because, and off their carton because it's not milk. So, we, we need milk. Milk has what? Is, is it vitamin D? Vitamin D. And what do they always say? Oh, you need some vitamin D. Here, take this uh, pill. No, just go get some milk. But there, if you go to the grocery store and you're going to notice that you're going to see less and less, which I, we had a, a grocery store that... Um, it was an old kind of rundown store. They got them a new store. They built a whole new one. And um, I went in the milk section. They have at the very top almond milk, soy milk, lactate milk, all these fancy so-called milks. But at the bottom, they have the real milk. And as everybody knows, if you go into Walmart, if your favorite item is at the top, it's selling. If your favorite item starts going towards the bottom shelf, they're doing away with it. So the milk is at the bottom. And then we're talking about half gallons and gallons. They're, they're towards the bottom. They're not at the top anymore. That's because they're trying to wean people off of milk. You gotta have milk. 
And so that that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Cows farting. Oh, we gotta get rid of them. Mm, what do we get rid of? Some people. Aren't we the ones that are farting and uh, deleting the ozone? But also, you get rid of cows, you get rid of hamburgers, you get rid of steaks, you get rid of ribs. Um, I mean, you, you're getting rid of protein. Well, they don't want you to have that either. All right, your turn. It shows the godless atheistic society that we are in. God created cows. He created the process by which they, re they give us milk, they give us meat, that we eat the meat, drink the milk, and it makes our human body strong as a result. That process has been in place the entire 6,000 years this world has been in existence and we haven't had any problems with that because God made it to where that process would work and it has continued to work. For us to come along and say the cows are hurting the earth what we are doing is we are questioning God. We are saying God got it wrong. He made these cows and they are hurting us. So because they are hurting us, then we need to get rid of them. But in fact, God made the cows to help us. And they've been helping us for 6,000 years and they will continue to help us if we just leave it alone and let God work through the cows to help us. Well, I just thought of something. Shouldn't PETA be against AOC? She's wanting to down, she wants to go down with the cows. Well, PETA is supposed to be for every creature. So, um, shouldn't the PETA be up in AOC's face saying, Hey, you wanting to kill defenseless little cows. Well, they're not little, but you know what I mean. You know, shouldn't PETA be all over her? That's something to think about. Peter doesn't care about, and they only care about the ones that we think are cute. Yep. That's the only ones they care about. So, uh, you never hear Peter fighting for chickens. Millions of chickens are killed every hey, year. Hey, chickens fight. You haven't been to a cock game, have you? <laughs> yeah. But they, millions of chickens are killed every year. Peter doesn't say anything about that. Cows are killed all the time for meat. They don't say anything about that. But God forbid you should hurt a cat or a dog or an owl or an eagle or anything that we think is cute that we want to keep around as a pet. They're just for pets. They're not for animals. Yeah. So that's why they don't care about the cows. 